Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys taking some time to watch the video. And today we are going to have a comprehensive discussion about wind and how it affects bass. And you know, we talk about weather conditions a lot. I've talked about wind and stuff in the past, but I want to give you guys some detailed juice information that's really going to help you form an understanding about how to how you need to handle different wind situations or lack of wind and uh, some approaches to take on it so um, i think it's gonna, you're going to find it interesting real quick i just want to invite everybody out there if you haven't had a chance if you guys are interested to become a member of the channel it's one of the greatest ways you can you can support the channel here if you're a member um, you get additional videos every week that aren't seen by the public um, access to my personal email address for some of the memberships um, it's a great way to support the channel if you're interested go to the about section of my youtube homepage, click on intuitive memberships and it gives you all the information for that that's appreciated okay guys we've talked about this a little bit before um, because it's such a an important part of understanding how to locate and uh, fish for bass this is understanding wind and if you guys have been a member or uh, watching the channel, subscribe to the channel for very long, you hear me talk a lot about water clarity, water temperature, sunlight intensity, and wind. You, I, I can't stress how important it is to get an understanding about how important those factors are as far as in formulating your approach to fishing and what it does to bass. So all the tips i give you guys on modifications are important but that stuff i'm talking about like today is the stuff that's really going to help you catch a lot more fish in a big way okay let's talk about wind a little bit here wind um is it's sort of a complicated topic in bass fishing because there's a lot of variables surrounding wind and how you need to approach it in general you can't look at wind just for the sake of wind you have to you have to uh, understand how wind works in correlation with other environmental factors on the lake that you have because how you need to approach the lake and how you need to approach your techniques for fishing in the wind or not having any wind is also directly in correlation to the water visibility that you have and the water temperature that you have because the techniques are going to dictate how wind affects your presentation based upon those other two variables. In general, this is what happens. In my opinion, the wind and how that hurts or affects bass more than anything else has to do with water temperature. And I'm going to give you guys some generalities here because there's all we, we could talk for 10 hours about wind if you went into every detail. But I'm going to give you guys a foundation here to, to sort of start with. In general, this is what you're going to find out about wind. The warmer the water temperature, the more important it is as far as the bass becoming aggressive and biting better. In general, the, the wind, the more wind that you have and the warmer water, the more, the, back to, the more active the bass are. And the more wind that you have and the colder the water, the more it makes it tough to catch those fish. And, how, and it has more of a negative impact on fish. Because in terms of water temperature, when we're talking about wind speeds, if, if the water temperatures are like below 45 degrees, for the most part, I want little to no wind. I don't want any wind because wind is not a determining factor in generating strikes in that, in that temperature of water, because just the way the, way the fish are positioned. If the, if the, water, visit, or if the water temperatures are, say, 45 to 50 degrees, um, I like a light wind, maybe like a five mile an hour wind. That seems to be the optimum condition to get those fish to strike. If the water temperatures are like in the mid fifties to the mid sixties, you'll find that a little bit more of a moderate wind, maybe like a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind, um, is a good thing to generate those fish to become more aggressive. And if that water temperature is over 65, over 75, pushing 80 degrees, you'll find out on windy days, that can be some of your best fishing. And that's a general general uh, th uh, reality behind that. But what you have to look at in correlation with that is what your water clarity is with those conditions too. Because wind and the benefit or the negativity that wind brings into your fishing also is directly related to the water clarity that you have. In general, again, the foundation the clearer the water is, 
the more important wind is to to get those fish active to where they're biting real good. So when we're talking about wind, we can relate it the same way to as we can to water temperature. That we can relate it to water clarity. If I'm fishing a body of water that has dirty water, say like the visibility is less than eight inches, something like that, what you consider dirty, muddy water, I don't want any wind. You don't need any wind because the water clarity of the dirty stained water offers enough protection and cover for the fish that you don't need the wind, you know, to act as a sort of a, as a, a fake protector to them. So dirty water, I don't want any wind. If that water visibility is sort of in that one foot to three foot range, um, again, I like a little bit of a light breeze, maybe like a five mile an hour breeze. You don't need much. If the water clarity is like three to six feet, again, that 10 to 15 mile an hour zone, the wind is really good. And if the water clarity is really clear, like the visibility is over six feet, you'll find out on those windy days, those fish are a lot more aggressive. Now we're talking, when we're, we're, when we're talking about the wind in, in relationship to the water clarity and water temperature, we're talking in general about shallow fish, about because a lot of times shallow fish are the ones that are affected by wind. Wind creates current. Wind is just like, a, you know, the current generated by a river or water flowing through a system. Wind will also generate current. And that current is a lot more dependent upon shallower fish. Now, not to say that, you know, like a main lake point can't be benefited, benefited by having some current run over it. But for the most part, we're talking about shoreline fishing, object fishing, targets along the bank, grass beds, that type of stuff. These are the areas that are going to benefit from having wind or not having having wind. So the deeper fish, like I said, um, most of the time, if I'm fishing deeper water, like over 15 feet, I, I don't want hardly any wind because a lot of times I'm trying to, to pinpoint specific fish that I'm seeing on my electronics or specific breaks or specific deeper structure. And the wind actually acts as a hindrance to the presentation. So um, the techniques, like I said, that you use with wind, again, are dependent upon your water clarity and water temperature. I mean, that's all relative. I mean, for example, if you're fishing clear water and it's warm, um, this is a good time to, uh, you know, clear, warm water that's windy. That's a good time of year to fish a spinner bait or chatter bait or some type of a moving bait, a jerk bait, something like that. Um, in those in-between wind situations are also good with moving baits. And then on those lighter wind days when you don't have much wind at all, that's when I tend to like to go to, you know, some type of a slower bottom bait or a top water bait, depending upon the water clarity. So most of the time, like I said, guys, it's a matter of experimentation. It's a matter of experience, finding out how wind determines how these fish are positioned. But in general, that will give you a good foundation as far as what to look for uh, and the approaches you need to, to take with it. Um, like I said, Bass fishing, there's no absolutes in it. There's no right or wrong answers. A lot of it is just what the fish are doing that particular day, but we all have to have a foundation somewhere to start. So anyway, I hope that gives you guys just sort of an, an idea on it. Shoot me some comments, man. If you guys got some questions on what I just talked about wind, I'd be glad to answer them. We'll do some more detailed information on this later on. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. We'll see y'all.